Hey guys, we were down in Columbus, Ohio for the weekend attending Exotic Science Toyota Mile. We got some time to kill, so we're back at Toy Barn checking out some cars. I uh, drove the RS7 down. Jeff brought his 650, Jeff's running away from the camera. Matt's already down here with the 350R. Helen, Helen came with me. She just took a nap in the car the entire time. It was nap time for her. They've got some pretty cool cars in inventory as usual. What caught my eye is this 600 LT Coupe. I noticed that it has the regular sports seats, not the carbon buckets, not the center seats, and a track focused car. Um, this is probably not as appealing, but if you're gonna use it as a street car, these are way more comfortable. I tried sitting in it, fit way better, a lot more comfortable than the other bucket seats. They have also got an Urus here, a couple 488s, tons of cool cars out there. Toy Barn always impresses with what they have in inventory. They wanna go shopping? I need to borrow some money. Uh, <laughs> talk to Helen, I'm out. This Urus is on 21s. This is actually the smallest wheel you can option from the factory. They go 21, 22, 23. And on this SUV, 21s actually look small, which is hysterical. The Urus, I love this thing. It's my favorite SUV in the world. Jeff's first time in an Urus. First impressions? It's nice. Nice? All right. X5 is getting traded in for an Urus. <laughs> Helen's been in an Urus before, too. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was comfy. Yeah. You fell asleep in that one, too. Yeah, she just naps in every car she's in. <laughs> well, it's a Ferrari Lambo R7. Nap time. This is a twin turbo Gallardo. Let's listen to it. The other side of Toy Barn, we've got Sean's 720S Coupe outside. This thing looks great. I think he said he's bringing this to the show tonight. Is that the Forest Police? Hello, Officer Forest Police. Hello, Officer. It's green and white. Interesting livery. Check out this 458 Coupe. It's got this matte finish on it. We believe it's paint because it doesn't look like, I mean, look at this. Even the door jams. It's not a wrap. This is actual paint. It looks amazing. I want this car. I think out of all the ones for sale here, I would take that. This is cool. Hey, we found an R7. It's a little bit of a base spec though. No carbon exterior and also have the base 20 inch wheels, but it's still an R7. <laughs> Billet aluminum center caps for his new Vorsteiner forged wheels. Look at the color on this 458 Spider. It's like a dark, dark red, almost burgundy or purple under some lights on the cream interior. Yeah, it's cream interior. This is a very cool color. Jeff's front left tire. Had a little bit of a slow leak going on. This was a little loose, the valve stem, so got that fixed up. I'm gonna head out with the McLaren. Inside of McLaren 650S. <laughs> Jeff's car is good to go. We're leaving Toy Barn. We're gonna go get the cars cleaned up a little bit, meet up with some more people before Exotic San Seiro Mayo tonight. We stopped by Shine My Ride, gonna clean up the RS7. We're gonna have to get some gratuitous foam cannon slow mo shots. <laughs> All right, we're just meeting up with some other people. Here's Noah. I haven't seen Noah since, I mean, About this show ago. last year. Yep. Uh, we've got Shelby, Jess McLaren, RS7, and the host of Ford GTs. Another McLaren, Heritage GTs, matching golf liveried ones. This one is apparently McLaren Fire Black paint a sample, a couple Lambos, GT3, and then we'll roll to the bridge and go checked in and get staged. Check out the interior of a Heritage GT. And there's two of them here. <laughs> Customized Ford GT, HRE wheels widened in the back. These are 355 tires. It's pretty cool. The paint scheme is really interesting. 
Got two different colored uh, racing stripes. I like it. I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> Holy crap, this lineup is super cars. <laughs> this lineup is amazing. <laughs> We've got like five Ford GTs, a McLaren, a couple Porsches, Lambos. Here's Kosai. That place is fun. Kosai is really cool. Yeah, I came here a lot. I came here a couple times when I was a kid. Oh, ass. oh yeah, it is. They were supposed to meet up with us. He's probably like, wait a minute. He's like, I need to flip around. There's so many McLaren 650S Spiders. <laughs> Look at that camel urus and a chrome green of that door. Parking the cars on the bridge again. We've made a sandwich with the RS7 and two Volcano Orange McLarens. Oh my god, my car is so much bigger. <laughs> Looks so good, clean. The Michigan squad rolling down into technically enemy territory in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Make sure not to say go blue too loud, so. Walking down the bridge, checking out some of the cars. They're all on this side. One that I absolutely have to come take a look at is this wide-bodied Ferrari F12. It's got some crazy body kit on it. Creative bespoke, looks like it's wrapped. It sounded really good when it was rolling in. That is awesome. Look at some of these details. Red Scuderia shield, carbon fiber fender vents, aftermarket wheels. This thing looks amazing. We're gonna make our way down the bridge. We're at the very end. Uh, I'm gonna show you as many of the cars as possible before it gets way too crowded with people. It looks like Acura has a little booth here of a bunch of NSXs, both old and new. Lotus, this looks like a Lava Orange GT3 at point two. Ferrari 360, a Helen, Corvette ZR1. I said we're gonna walk our way down before it gets way too crowded of people and you can't see the cars anymore, so. A little Alpha 4C. Let's see, you should you should state your opinions on Alpha 4C, yes or no? Sure. Sure, that's not, oh, it's a Tesla. This is a first generation Tesla Roadster. You don't see these often. It is, I believe, Lotus based, so that's why it looks kind of like a Lotus, but first generation Tesla Roadster. R8 Spider, I believe this is Paul's car. I think that's Aaron's manual Gallardo. First generation, Maserati. Lotus Savora, Cayman GT4. Let's go to the, do we go to the front or back? We'll keep going this way. Another NSX. And here we go, those four GTs that we saw earlier in the parking lot. This is the McLaren Fire Black. Couple Heritage GTs. Got your brand new one. You got your mid 2000s to 05. Heritage, these are both the Golf livery. That custom GT, you like the Golf livery colors? Yep, that was a racing livery. Huracan, Huracan, LP5, or LP610, LP580. Another GT3, yeah, Skittles. Supercar should look like Skittles. This, I think this is, so I, read I actually the, don't know what color this is. It's not Verde Mantis. That's green, Eddie. Okay, yes, I know it's green, but I'm forgetting the <laughs> I'm forgetting the McLaren color name. Pretty cool Viper ACR. This guy looks like he tracks his car. He's got full harnesses in his GT3 with a Uncomfy. roll cage in the back. Uncomfy? Yeah, they're not bad. Oh, you're talking about John's that wasn't comfortable. <laughs> Another Huracan. This 650S has been here a couple years. It's loud. It's a pretty one. The yellow, that is a uh, volcano yellow. McLaren paint is amazing. Whoops, I just stepped on a kid, sorry. <laughs> Viper, ACR, uh, Ferrari, Ferrari. This, this, I think that's a 612 Scagli, Scagli, however how you pronounce it. Has some sort of exhaust. It sounded really good. He revved it when it was coming in. Urus camo wrapped. My favorite SUV in the world right now. That chrome green Aventador. That a V12. And then again, that crazy Ferrari F12 wide body kit. GT3, Boxster Spider, another point two GT3. Man, there are a lot of cars on this bridge right now. Looks like a 997 Turbo. Another Aventador. Viper, Buyers Imports brought out a R8 V10. And a 0.2 GT3. 
Got the Balboni Edition Gallardo R8, first gen M6. Got the McLaren sandwich with my R7 in the middle, both volcano orange. Hello, R7. Jeff's one, again with those four Steiner wheels. Someone was just like, I'm gonna be at his vlog. <laughs> Matt's GT350R. Yes, many people are in the vlog. Whoa! Look at those old Rolls Royce. That's pretty cool. Around all the people. <laughs> 458. Another LPI 580. R8 McLaren and GTR, and we're done. I'm a big fan of the setting for this car show. It's not in a giant parking lot. You're actually on a bridge over the river in downtown Columbus. Got this really cool skyline for pictures behind and all the people in cars just line up over there. There's a dam down there, so I don't We have found other form of entertainment, watching these people paddle up the river. They're, They're making good progress now. Yeah, they are. They were really struggling. They came the up middle. to the middle and the current's a lot stronger. Don't flip over. All right, we're gonna leave. Go get dinner. Jeff's hungry, I'm hungry. I'm hangry. Uh, we're gonna head out, get dinner. Show was awesome, it was fun talking to people. Weather turned out amazing. We are going to a Brazilian steakhouse to eat a ton of meat. It's gonna be great.